So this past weekend I've been to the Amphi Festival in Köln and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about it. So hello spooky bats and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Orfia and I'm a god YouTuber from Belgium. Last weekend was the Amphi Festival and Amphi Festival is the closest god event personally to me that is in Germany. It is based in Köln which is about a three hour drive from where I live so it's super easily accessible. Now, normally I would have been working at the Amphi Festival with a friend of mine. Unfortunately, a few things went wrong and we didn't have our booth. However, they did give us the tickets so we could attend the festival. So instead of working there, we actually partied and watched bands. On Friday, we got there and instead of setting up, we actually prepared to go to the pre-party. The pre-party was not terrible, it was okay, but it was also not the best pre-party that I've already had. Something that really stands out for me in Germany is that DJs mix a lot of genres of music together and genres that even don't go together and a few of the DJs also didn't really do mixes but they just like had a playlist on which I personally don't call DJing. So Amphi, if you're seeing this and you want an actual DJ, contact me. <laughs> Now on Friday there weren't any acts yet, but there was a pre-party and also the Call the Ships to Port. Call the Ships to Port is a boat and on the boat you have a few concerts and you pay to be on the boat. Um, and it's a few hours that it like um, yeah, sails onto the river. I'm not sure how to tell you this, how to explain it. But it's basically a boat on which there are concerts. And this was my outfit for the pre-party. The skirt I have on is from Killstar. The kind of waist thing belt is also from Killstar. And the top is from Club X, which I bought second hand off of Vinted. And my boots are my usual new rock platforms. I also constantly wear this choker by Killstar, which is honestly one of my favorites. I'm not always super happy with the quality of Killstar clothing. However, this choker is really good. Let's get to Saturday. Saturday my outfit was a lip service cyber sniper set, so a top and a matching skirt and of course always my new rock boots and again this choker. On Saturday there were quite a few bands that I actually wanted to see, so we quickly headed over to the festival site. The first two bands I don't really have a lot of clips by, it's Nachtblut and Stahlmann. I feel they are very similar, they are more metal bands. Uh, nonetheless here is a little bit of music by them. After that I went to see Empathy Test. Empathy Test by far is one of my favorite bands and oh my god Isaac's voice never disappoints. Definitely one of my highlights of the festival. Oh, 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 oh,
it, I went outside and walked a bit on the market. However, I also heard Solar Fake as they were playing on the Amphi stage, so on the outdoor stage. Um, their show was good, but I've seen them previously a lot, so I didn't really make time to actually go and stand in the sun to see them. back into the heat of the theater stage where I practically melted during SITD. During the concert of SITD I was actually standing with the other group of dancers that were to the left of the stage. I know there's a bunch of industrial dancers so there is Snowy, there is Kivana, um, there also were like other people who industrial dance of course but it was really fun to actually spend a concert with other people that are constantly dancing because that's what I do as well. SITD was Frozen Plasma and Frozen Plasma is one of the bands that I have listened to ever since I started getting into the more electronic music of the God scene so I was super happy to see them live. concert in the theater stage was the birthday massacre. Now I can tell you from talking to the band afterwards that there were a lot of issues. Apparently their gear wasn't there on time so they had to rent gear which they weren't used to using and um, the sound check didn't go through as it should have. They started 15 minutes late and honestly the sound was terrible. I stayed there three or four songs and then I just decided to go outside and watch VNV Nation because the sound leveling was just terrible. Nonetheless, they had great stage presence, they are super kind people. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the Birthday Massacre later this year at Sinner's Day here in Belgium and hopefully the sound will be better. stay at the birthday massacre I actually went outside and saw a little bit of VNV Nation which as usual was an amazing show and the venue was like fully packed. The entire festival site was full with people dancing and singing to VNV Nation. On Saturday I of course also went to the after party which this time was really good. So the DJs of Saturday, I will try and find their names and put them here, were actually really good. So thumbs up for the DJs of Saturday's after party. They mixed songs well, they had variation in the genres 
but not too much that it was undanceable or that you only had three songs and then you had to run away again. So it's really nice that on Saturday the after party was so good. However, because I was up the entire day, my feet started to hurt pretty bad and I went to the hotel at around one or two in the night. also met a few lovely people off of which the youtuber Nosferotica. She's a Brazilian youtuber and she's absolutely the sweetest. I also met a few of my subscribers so thank you so much for talking to me if it was you. And then let's over to Sunday. Sunday I wanted to wear my boots again but my feet were so sore and it was so terribly hot that I decided to go for comfort this time. The top is exactly the top I'm wearing right now, it's by Killstar, also this choker. I wore a belt by Disturbia on which I attached extra like hoops that actually come from a Killstar belt I think. And I wore a flowy skirt which I think comes from H&M and my trusty Dr. Martens. The first band that I saw on Sunday was the absolute best band for me on Sunday and it was V2A. I love their music, I love their style. I actually saw them live years and years and years ago at my very first Wave Gothic Treffen and I've been following them ever since. So this was only my second time actually seeing them live but they did not disappoint. to the Aesthetic Perfection concert and although Aesthetic Perfection is one of my favorite bands, don't get me wrong, the sound was absolute shit. The vocals came through way too loud, the backing track didn't match with some of the parts, the drums and the guitars were like very badly matched to the music and stuff. It was very weird because he has such a stage presence and I did really enjoy the concert but the sound quality was absolute shit. <laughs> perfection I walked around a little bit and then of course saw Suicide Commando. It's one of the Belgian bands that I personally enjoy most. It was way too hot because the sun was still burning onto us as we were trying to find shade. However the concert was really amazing and we even got a picture with Johan afterwards.
from the side I listened to Diary of Dreams, however they had a lot of sound issues as well. At one moment the sound just completely cut. Apparently someone walked over and disconnected a main cable, which honestly sounds insane to think about it. But they had a lot of sound issues as well and it's really a pity because so many bands had sound issues at this festival that I think they should maybe look at it for the next edition to improve it. After Diary of Dreams, the last band I saw was Eisbrecher, which is always a big party. I even have tickets to go see them live here in Belgium at like an actual concert concert by them. Eisbrecher has such a great onstage charisma, the sound was actually good for their concert and I had a really fun time. After that we decided to go to the final after party which surprisingly was a lot quieter than the previous after party. So the pre-party was very busy, the Saturday after party was really busy as well. However on the Sunday one it seemed like half of the people who were there had already left. And on Sunday unfortunately the after party wasn't really that good music wise. There were two DJs alternating during the time that we were there. One of the DJs actually could mix tracks into another, but the song choices were ridiculous at times. And then the other DJ didn't know how to mix songs into each other. The song choices weren't per se bad, but because you just have a playlist on where you start and stop songs, it's really not like super fun to dance to. After parties, Vixen was actually part of them. It's the dance group from the Netherlands in which they have stage dancers. And I think they're really fun to see. Um, and they also kind of like inspire me to dance a little bit better and a little bit more out there because sometimes I just like to dance and keep to myself. So I went to this Amphi Festival with a few of my friends. I had an amazing time. If you are close to Amphi Festival, it is relatively small. I think the tickets for next year are already out on pre-sale. I think they're around 100 euros for the entire weekend. And honestly, for me, it's really well worth it. It also helps for me that it's a festival like super close by, so I could personally highly recommend it. The next event I will be attending is the Mera Luna Festival, not this weekend, but the next weekend. So the actual first weekend weekend of August and I'm super excited for it because it's my first ever time going there. If you see me at the Mera Luna festival feel free to come and say hi, we can take a selfie together, talk a little bit. I personally really enjoy doing that and also if you see me at any other festivals or events feel free to always come and say hi. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I try to make videos as often as possible which right now is every two weeks however I'm trying to get back onto that weekly basis of making videos whenever possible. I want to thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!